beautiful people. Today we're talking about making positive change by letting go of this one thing that I'm going to let you in on. Uh, the other night I had a full moon or new moon, new moon meditation, and this is what came through. I got pages of it, but I'm going to summarize it for you all. So stay tuned. Hey guys, so if you are here, thank you so much for being here and welcome to the High Vibe Tribe. Would love to have you in it. Just subscribe and like here. Um, and thanks for watching. So we're diving in so we can rise high. Here we go. So what is it that you can let go of to create more positive change? Well, the first thing I want to talk about is positive negative. What I mean by positive change is that it's the direction of lightness, the direction of your soul saying, yes, <laughs> not in the fact of it. There's no like positive, negative, right, wrong, good, bad, positive change, meaning that shifting in the direction of your light. And so the one thing that I was downloaded the other day to let go of are the stories what? So stories can be so powerful, but stories can also distract us. They can also seduce and feed that pain body, right? So we have to be aware enough to really look at the difference. What really cued me in to what I was doing was I've just been really voracious on YouTube lately, and I've been finding some YouTubers I really enjoy. They, uh, they do a lot of channeling and stuff, and I love these women. However, I started to get seduced by some of the stories about the reptilians and the Palladians. And it was, I started to get really in there and I would talk myself into watching them saying like, oh, you know, I'm just doing kind of like spiritual research. And then I started to feel it. I started to feel that feeling I have with putting the next one on and putting the next one on. Like I did when I was 13 with soap operas, right? Or how when I binge watch Netflix, you know what I mean? <laughs> What's your favorite series? <laughs> anyway, um, it's really important to get the awareness of when it is kind of like a unconscious binging and distraction or if it is really lighting us up and it's really telling us about our next mission or educating us about something that's that we're curious about. Now, a few videos ago, I talked about the four stages of awakening. One of them is getting curious and broadening our perspective. And so at first, when I was tuning into these channeled videos, I was like, oh, I'm just uh, broadening my perspective. And then I could feel the shift change as I was listening more and more to the videos. And I could feel kind of like the lower frequencies of, oh, I wonder, you know, fear and polarity kind of building. So, you know, even spiritual or galactic or energetic stories, even though they have the purpose of shedding light on something, it may be a distraction for you. For me, some of these stories that I was listening to with the uh, reptilians was a big distraction. And it made me really realize that I'm going against my, my truest purpose. And that's what this download was all about. As we can have, what are the reasons? We can have stories for entertainment. We can have stories for to get distracted and to, to purposely distract ourselves. Um, we can be seduced by stories and the pain body just kind of gobbles up like an addicted alcoholic. Or we can have the stories to just really learn more about our light mission. Um, the stories are dramas, reality stories, you know, our neighbors telling us about something that happened. Um, galactic stories, right? The whole thing about the Galactic Federation and the reptilians and all the different um, alien races helping us out. It's still a story. Um, spiritual stories, you know, with religious stories and then relationship stories. All of these things are stories that we can tune into and have awareness about. Now, the first step is to choose. What do you choose? You choose a hundred percent commitment to your light and your lightness. And when that's your commitment, when I chose that last week, that's when I started to have the awareness that I was really kind of wasting my time personally with 
some of these stories that I was voraciously listening to. And that it wasn't my mission to work with the reptilian energy. It wasn't my mission to work with some of these stories. My mission is to have a sovereign connection to source, to work with my ascended self and just have that sovereign connection. And that will take care of all the other energies. And by holding that light and holding that space, um, I will be doing my mission on the planet. So everyone's going to have a different mission. Everyone's going to have their lightness point to something else. So that same video about the reptilians, you might be like, oh my gosh, this is exploding and expanding my awareness. This is helping me ascend. I feel like this is where my work is and you feel totally elated. Then go for it. That's your light mission story. But for me, what it did, it started to contract me and create more polarity and started to even create a little titch of fear. So that's when you know a story has gone bad. It's gone sour. The milk is sour. It's past the expiration date. <laughs> so when you start feeling that, tune in. The thing you want to let go of is the senseless stories. So um, I made an analogy once and I borrowed it from Lori Ladd. It, when you're walking that airport walkway, that movable walkway, it's kind of like that's that's how we are. We're walking on this walkway, um, raising our vibration, being light workers, and, and 3D reality is kind of happening around us. And we just go forth. And all of a sudden, we turn our head and we see something that our heart and light is like, yes, let's shine some light on that. We're not going to jump to every situation, okay, as light workers. We have something that's going to really pull at our heartstrings and say, oh, okay, I'm going to go participate there, okay, because we're here in bodies to participate. We're here to hold the light and we're here to participate when our light guides us. So when we're not on that airport trail uh, walkway, we're outside in the 3D world and that can get kind of mixed up. We can go to all these different things and get brought this way. And the, the same thing is with stories, with the entertainment we watch, YouTube and all our social media and Netflix and movies. What is really going to hold and build your vibration and what is actually going to spiral it down? And by all means, you know, I love a good um, Avenger story, a movie, and I just notice that sometimes, you know, I am a lower vibration after those kind of movies and just be aware of that and know how to raise it back up. So in these human bodies, we're going to go through all the playing field and have fun with it. Have fun with the stories, but be aware of when it becomes a distraction and when the pain body is addicted to it. Because that is where you start to have this spiraling down of your vibration. And that's when you're not a match and, or you're not in alignment with that vibrational reality that you really want to be living. Okay, that positive shift into the vibrational reality you want to be living. And the vibrational reality happens first. And then the physical reality matches it. So I guess this is a call to action a call to action to stay in alignment with your lightness. If you're 100% committed, you will feel when the stories start to pale. You'll start to feel when they start going to polarity and start going into lower vibration. And when you feel that, then you have a choice, another choice to just click the stop button. <laughs> Beautiful people, thanks so much for tuning in today and welcome to the High Vibe Tribe. Please subscribe, like, and click that bell. This is a amazing time in history to be on the planet. We are infinite beings of light holding high frequency for the planet. And it is exciting. It is really exciting and I'm glad you're here with me, remembering our greatness together. Have a beautiful weekend. Namaste.